Hello. Hello. What's hello in Georgian again, Luke? I can't remember. <laughs> that one. There we go. Hello. Welcome to what the next time will be. Um, I'm going to do my best James Richardson, Richardson impression. Um, Luke is going to introduce the highlights. It's going to be, it's going to look great. First one, can't really be bothered. So, uh, <laughs> so we're not, we're not doing that yet, but it will get better. Um, yeah, and uh, well, there will soon, there should be, if I've not been lazy, um, at Georgian Footy Instagram. And, um, uh, well, that's it really. But it is Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, we'll put this on, put this on the Cultures YouTube, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what, what, what the flavour is, but, uh, yeah. yeah, hello, welcome, Luca, hello, again. For the fourth right. time. For the <laughs> so seventh, the yeah, I mean, it's a week, <laughs> yeah. weekly occurrence now, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I also meant to wear, bring, uh, use my Kavicha mug, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all right, I'm still repping the Georgian colours with Felitaya, nice. who's moved to Aris Limassol. I know. Um, since well, the, last book, I think we say, yeah. So, so in the time. little in the little preparation we just did, we just said we'd do transfers last, but let's do them first, seeing as we've just done <laughs> <heard that. laughs> uh, So, yeah, my, my boy has sadly, sadly departed, which means I have to buy another Cypriot League shirt. Um, it's green, though, so that fits in. But, yeah, he's off to... Um, has, uh, has Kosciuszko really moved anywhere yet, mate? He was off. He was. Oh, uh, not yeah, not yeah. He's, he's been rumored to uh, basically have offers from England, Spain, Italy, and I think France as well. But um, yeah, it's, it's yet to sort of uh, be leaked or announced what, what the team is. But I think I'm pretty sure he's going to move uh, with, especially with about like three weeks left before the transfer window closes. So obviously, it's, majority of the league is going to start next week. La Liga starts, I think, over the weekend as well. So uh, it'd, it'd be it'd be good for him to to move as as, as quick as possible, just to you know readjust to the new team and stuff. But uh, even if he stays, to be honest, he's still got you know enough interest, I think. And if he pulls in a bit of good run of form for the next three four months, he'll definitely have some some clubs coming towards him in in January as well. So it's it's um yeah we'll we'll, we'll see we'll see. Uh, well, and uh, Mamadash is off to Liverpool, apparently. If you're yeah, Liverpool. yeah, yeah. It's it, it's been rumored to be a case where both sides are interested, but uh, it, it's it's a weird thing where, obviously, if he stays to Valencia on loan, that's that's I think that's quite fine, mm. because right now my Valencia trying to cash in with all the players, uh, because of the poor ownership they've got, but. Uh, it's still a bit weird that Liverpool went to him because of the mm -hmm. fact that they were like Chelsea, Spurs last season, those two teams were really weren't interested in him. Bayern Munich from, from 2023 were interested in him, especially after the Euros, they were like, we might return to this. But um, yeah, obviously a huge step up for him and uh, we'll see where Alisson goes if he goes. We've seen Saudi clubs uh, linked with him, so the only way I see him mean, actually moving in to Liverpool is if uh, Alisson goes abroad somewhere and um, basically frees up the space for him. But, yeah, we'll see that as well. I think the, the Saudi leagues have uh, sort of dried up a bit, haven't they? Because uh, there's a few players who've refused moves there, so... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, well, initially, you'd think that, obviously, earning a fortune is, isn't horrible, but, I mean, if you're a profitable or playing in Prem, you only have a fortune, I think. Yeah. Uh, and, obviously, there's there's not nothing wrong with having more money, but uh, realistically, like one more you can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Do you really want to? Yeah, do you really want to live in Saudi Arabia? Well, none of them do. Yeah, really. yeah. They live in Bahrain, don't they? So, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, enough of geopolitics. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Before uh, this so, gets demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, the, the most recently, yeah, I believe you were in attendance at FC Iberia. Which is not Spanish yeah. or Portuguese. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, is uh, so it was the was it Europa? It was like the uh, Conference was, League yeah. third round qualifiers against uh, Istanbul Basak Shahir, which unfortunately Barry have lost on the eighty seventh, eighty eighth minute. It wasn't really it wasn't really quite an exciting game to be honest, but there were chances for both teams to score. Obviously, Basak Shahir have got a better squad, better players, and if someone told me that. If you were going to lose 1-0 before the game, I'd say, like, yeah, I mean, that's fair results going into the game. But uh, it could have easily went as a 0-0. Maybe Iberia could have, could have nicked a winner as well. But, yeah, 
that's that's the difference of quality paid off and um there's still a lot to play for in the second leg as well because one knows and really that horrible of a result to go into but uh i'm not really hopeful of too much but again doesn't whenever you have you have they haven't really got much to lose so we'll see we'll see how it goes as well the thing with the newer new europa league champions league ones as well and it's all coefficient bullshit so yeah right. yeah yeah well, well well this season we've seen the one of the reasons why i actually enjoy the the qualifiers is because of the amount of random stories and teams going into the group stage. Well, it's a league stage right now, isn't it? It's not no longer the group stages in in, in, in any of the yeah. competitions. So we've got like uh, TNS going probably going to the group stages. We've got two teams <laughs> from Moldova also probably going to the group stages. Team from Gibraltar, uh, Klaxvik. I mean, they've been to the group stages twice, so maybe, maybe they, go, they go in there again this season as well. And um, yeah, it's exciting, but fortunately we never really made, made it made it that far since 2004 as i said before and especially for the last i don't know four or five years going to the playoffs was 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 non-existent in georgia football although we had like at least two teams in the playoffs in like 10 years ago um it's no longer a case right now and seeing teams again no disrespect to anyone but seeing teams of, of lesser football and pedigree make it far and actually make it to the to the, to the final stages of the tournament it is Kind of upsetting for us, on our perspective. Again, well done to those teams for 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 doing it. Mm. Yeah, it's like um, uh, it's just I think if with all the like we've teamed like Klaxvik and um, oh, there's the team from the Faroe Islands a few weeks. Oh, are they are they from the Faroe Islands? Or they yeah, from... Klaxvik is, is from yeah, Faroe Islands. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought I've got mixed up with that, but like teams like like that like Iceland teams always. Since there's been a few that have got through. They're playing side for six months. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing dorms and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, in some cases, yeah. and they're all like domestic players, aren't they? It's not like load of money. Where yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's that, that's the beauty of it because those teams sort of succeed with probably I don't know nine, ten players who are domestic uh, players. Even Clarksburg, they, they've de- defeated Dima Tbilisi six one in twenty twenty. <laughs> Genuinely, like that was probably one of the worst. Qualifying campaign Dynamo Tbilisi ever had and defeated Dynamo oh, Tbilisi six one. It, it was like the COVID season when mm. it was on a one leg uh, to be played and uh, Dynamo played uh, up in Faroe Islands. They, they had a really good chance to make it to group stages because they faced they could have faced Dundalk um, from Ireland in the playoffs, which who defeated Glasgow in the end and went to the group stages. But yeah, I mean uh, it's, it's it's great stories and and half the squad are like part time footballers. Some of them. Obviously, I've got other jobs and stuff like that, and seeing that those, those sort of teams succeed and do well is is is, is nice. Yeah, so, like uh, I think that was that that was the season where Stephen Kenny got the Ireland job, the curse of the Irish nation, uh, because he did well with Dundalk. So yeah, nice one. For oh, that. did he? <laughs> yeah, they owe me for that one. They, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, why don't we? We'll have a, we'll have a maybe if uh, if I can be bothered to ask Mike, we'll put a. Uh, We'll put a graphic in somewhere about the uh, about the league, but uh, so yeah. We have, yeah, somewhere there, somewhere there. Um, so we've got so currently, as I said to you, before, even though it's my idea to do this, um, I didn't know De La Gori were top of the league. Um, yeah. Stalin's hometown club. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've got there. So I'll, I'll, yeah, just uh, sort of give us a little run through mate, of the. Uh, well, we've got Dealer at the top. Yeah. Uh, Closely followed by uh, Torpedo Kataisi. Kataisi, I'm saying that right. I'm saying that right. Yeah. Saying it. Doesn't right. really change much. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, there's a bit of a drop up. Like Dino Tbilisi, our boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mid table mediocrity. Only four points off relegation. Honestly, playoffs. if they haven't haven't hadn't won the game uh, just yesterday, they would have been in relegation playoffs with 22 points. So it's it's a it's it's a hard transition. Honestly, the only way Dinamo could be saved is if uh, Mamadash really got so it gets sold. That's about oh, it. Because yeah. they've got they've got a uh, commission percent percent selling clause on him. So what's that, that's what they're waiting for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think fifteen or eighteen percent, something like that. So off of uh, 35, 40 million, that that's not a, not not a bad paycheck for them. So yeah. Mm. Well, it's looked like all the uh, the Dinamo Tbilisi's accounts must have been looking at the Euros. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Sure. But, so yeah, we've got. Um, so I'll, I'll let you uh, 
Well, you run through run through the teams for us a bit, mate. Because Iberia are uh, quite a new team, aren't they? They're doing all right. Uh, yeah, well, they've been the for the last let's say four or five years they've been rather successful Baden because of they won the league title in 2018 they won the cup for like three times so obviously for a team who hasn't really got much of a fan base it, it's basically like an, like an academy team uh because mm. most of the players were coming from where and are, are still coming from the academy and a bunch of mm. you know one or two foreigners here and there but um yeah they, 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 they started off the season quite well they were they were top with De La Gore for a while actually but um and they fell off. The, I think they've lost six and drew one in the last seven games. So, obviously, their form dipped dramatically, and the the the, uh, the coach got sacked. And there's there's a a new coach in in town for them. But um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they were they were exciting to watch, especially with some of the players who, who uh, came back on loan and some of the pretty nice, I think, uh, foreign acquisition. They've, they've signed a guy from Port Vale, uh, Derek, who yep. used to play for. Uh, Watford under 21 didn't really play much. I think played once for Port Vale in in League One. So uh, obviously not 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 a, a player who's gonna make you jump up and down. But yeah, he did he did arrive probably one of the uh, better centre backs in the league. So and then team in general have got like three or four players who are probably quite decent um, in terms of the quality they possess in the season they have. But Dinamo Batum as well are, are struggling, uh, especially after the fallout they have in the Euros in the qualifiers. They've Lost to Ludo Goretz 3 2 on aggregate. They've lost away and they've won at home in a game which ideally could have could have been turned quite better if the referee was adequate, but that's all right. And then they lost Decic from Montenegro, which was quite, quite I was at that game as well in Batumi. That was a, a bit of a shock as well because uh, Batumi had like 79% percentage, 10 shots. Whereas mm. Decic obviously took, twi- took two shots in the squad, both of them. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Bit of a football manager. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dealing with Philly City, they're shocking this season, but if you have a look at their team, it's like, I think the majority of the squad is under 20 years old. So, obviously, what do you expect from, from a team that young in transition with all, all sorts of uh, financial difficulties and, and, and like uh, drama going in about like certain players not want to play anymore, some players haven't received wages for like three, four months. And yeah, obviously, it, it, it adds up. Uh, Kocheti Potsi relatively new to, to the domestic scene for the last few years because they've been promoted for the first time since 2018 and they're doing they're doing all right they're actually owned by Kras Hela's agent uh, so obviously he's, he's trying to do a bit of a yeah trying to do uh, <laughs> some 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 trickerations with the team um, and they, they, they have like 30 odd players in the, in the squad which is quite a, quite a lot because obviously you only play about 23 25 <laughs> uh, in your squad, so yeah, it, it was a bit strange. And uh, and the, when the final four teams are basically where rumored were destined to be in, in, in the relegation contest, Tel Aviv may be one of the teams they've signed. Uh, former Argentinian right back he used to play for the Argentine national team, Gino Peruzzi, and he left the team three months after he signed for them. So that Mostly. that didn't turn out quite well. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yes, and Freddy are probably one of the poorest teams in the league. And you can see they're rock bottom with 11 points after 20 games. So, yeah, as as the, the one of the I'd say surprises, obviously the Lagori who, who, who are who are doing quite well, and the majority of the players are actually foreigners who've turned up and delivered for the team, and uh, they've now been managed by former Portuguese right back uh, Ricardo Costa, who used to play for. A whole host of teams, um, especially in Portugal. So yeah, it's it, it's an interesting project. I've, I've spoken with their owners a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and they were like, uh, our main goal was just to provide a platform for players from Africa and sort of South America. You know, like lower uh, price markets. Let's mm-hmm. sell them on, and they're doing quite right. They're doing quite right. So yeah, that, that's the case with the teams this season. Oh, lovely. Well, there we go. There's um. Uh, that quite reminds me of uh, Armenia having that uh, Marcos Pizzelli guy who just yeah yeah like, Marcos Pinheiro <laughs> he was a baller mate he was a baller he was the good player and just like ended up playing for the national team that bit like yeah bit just went oh well, yeah. fuck it I've been here for ten years let's go <laughs> um, <laughs> um, also so they've got with uh, with, with Sam Garal my favourite uh, impossible to pronounce one Sam Gar- Sam Garali Scaltubo yeah uh, no no. Go on. Yeah, it's, 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 it
that's all right, right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, they're, they're also one of the teams in transition. They've got rid of a, a big bunch of players, big chunk of players over the over the winter transfer period. So they're, they're rebuilding right now. But yeah, they're, they're doing as people expected them to do, basically. We've, yeah, so we've got... Um... <clears throat> De La Gordy, top of the league. We didn't uh, we didn't really mention about them, did we? Or did we? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, oh, we did. Of course we did. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's a classic professional presenting there. Um, yeah. But uh, So, the, the the weekend, the weekend's fixture's gone. Um, let's have a look at those. Well, did yeah. anything interesting happen? We've got a couple of games today because we're filming this on Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> probably uh, Dino would took me failing to win again. And this time against Gagra, and two actually beautiful goals have been scored. If you if you, if you actually clip the highlights somewhere, somewhere. Uh, we could see we, we, yeah we, we could see the, both of the goals, and they've been actually quite 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 good goals. And um yeah, apart from that, I'd say Kocheti Party would have and should have won that tie against Amtredia, and did not really see a narrowly won against Tel Aviv with a, with an error from the Tel Aviv goalkeeper. But um, it's first win for the new manager. Um, Austrian Ferdinand Faltorfer, I think his name is. Um, and yeah, I think, again, I said before, if, if somehow they manage to uh, maintain um, any sort of financial stability with you know relative talent that they have, they might do well in the next few seasons. And I think this season, they're typically going for any sort of cup success in order for them to get to the European qualifiers next season, because as, as you see in the, in, in the league standings, it's pr- practically impossible for them to finish top three so um yeah cup cup runs probably what i expect from him to be this season and um yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see that as well of course we've uh yeah so we've started we've started uh, fo- uh football italia slash georgia midway yeah. through the season so it's not um not the best time not the best but this this is not the best timing but you know we give us six, for the, the, within six months you know am i james richardson perfect perfected <laughs> lucas commentary will be unmatched and we'll all be, it'll all be fucking sad. Um, I mean, probably the more important part is there's uh, Georgia foreigners playing abroad. Mikhail Tadzik, Australia, Dabtas Philly, all sorts of guys. Got, so, yeah, that's, we've got all, we've got all the that season's going to gonna start next season, next week. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. We'll be uh, we'll be organised and gonna get something filmed then as well. So, yeah, we'll try yeah. We'll, 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 this football Georgia. Georgia's possibly weekly update coming to the <laughs> week um, if we can be bothered. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, but yeah. Well, thank you, mate, for this one. Next week yeah. we'll um, next week we'll um, have some more. We'll have we we'll, we'll have figured out how to put highlights in. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all it's all happening. It's all happening. Um, so yeah. Um, anything else, mate? Have you got any any more news? Although Mikatad is wearing number sixty nine. That's the yeah 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 yeah. I've ordered the shirt already, so probably next time the next week this time we'll have a we'll have, we'll have it on. So. <laughs> for Leon. Well, stuff. I've got I've got him on uh, I've got um you know ridiculous bets on uh Fire at Skelly and uh Mikatad's a top goal scorer. Come on, that way, not that way. Uh, yeah. you can't bet on the you can't bet on the Cypriot Cypriot league, league. <laughs> which, is, yeah. which is uh very disappointing. <laughs> uh but yeah, well, uh thank you for everyone for watching this. Um we shall see you hopefully every week with highlights yep. and uh me doing a James Richardson impression in the garden. Um there. Yeah, so uh <laughs> Right, well, thank you very much. Uh, what, what's goodbye in Georgian, Pluka, again? Uh, no, this. There you go. Yeah, Madlubar. No. See, yeah. <laughs> See you next week. Hey.